Bakr Hasanem, który tworzył praktycznie sport gołębiarski w Dubaju. Mr. Hassan, how many years uh, developing of uh, the pigeon racing in Dubai? Yeah, we started 1976. 1976. Uh, uh, sorry, 1996. Uh, how many uh, person uh, in this time uh, started in Dubai of pigeon? Uh, at the time it was about 25. 25, 25 yes. Okay. 25 people. We started first in 92, uh, unofficial. Me and uh, my friend, Mr. Alhamli, from the uh, association, from okay. the uh, racing association. And uh, we had very few number of pigeons, and we did not know how to train, how this, how that. But we have slowly, slowly uh, met some people who are, uh, who are racing, and Europe racing here and there, and they gave us an idea. So then we started taking it serious. Okay. We brought more pigeons from Germany, we brought some from Belgium, we brought from different areas, and uh, we have established this 1997. It became, uh, it became uh, published and uh, authorized. Uh, I have the question about the records yeah. of uh, during the all season uh, do you have maybe statistic or the record uh, example 100 kilometers the faster of the uh, pigeon so we not. really we don't take it this way we don't, uh, you know, we don't take it as uh, as statistics who was the winner at the time and this and that, because uh, it depends on your location, it depends on the weather condition, it depends on the wind. Sometimes you get very fast, very fast uh, race. Sometimes you get very slow race because of uh, headwinds and so on and so forth. But we can say that okay, the the outstanding. The outstanding um, uh, fanciers who are really serious. Important that the numbers start increasing and the uh, hobby or the sport became not just in Dubai, in Dubai and Abu Dhabi and Ras Al Khaimah and almost all the Emirates, it has a spread. And now they, we are participating, most of the fanciers, they participate in the one lift races, uh, the, the big one lift races. And they, their achievement is uh, acceptable. Um, and the achievement is acceptable, yes. Which loft the, won the season uh, last time? Last That's season. my loft. Your loft? Yes, yes. Your, yes. your loft was the, was the best. How many uh, pigeons do you have? As what, breeding or racing? Racing. Racing. Racing, it depends. Sometimes 160, 170, 200. It's, it's like this. Okay, for all loft, including how many? All the, all the loft. All loft. Maybe 600. 600? Yeah, 600 oh or more. It's very, very big. Yeah, because I bring a lot of uh, pigeons from uh, all over. Whenever, whenever something new comes, I buy. Uh, I like pigeons. I like pigeons. <laughs> Which I have some of the old ones <laughs> that, you know, I don't even kill. Okay. Even if they don't race, I don't kill. I let them just eat and drink and enjoy until they die. I so, understand. yeah, that's... that's... Uh, Mr. Hassan, uh, what you prefer uh, about the recovery after, after uh, flying? Do you have the top secret system or the... No, 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 no top secret, see. The pigeons, the pigeons is, uh, it's, it's not, it is not difficult if you know what the pigeon needs. And with experience, you, you, start, you start discovering it and learning it. Okay. For instance, okay, electrolytes is one of the essential, essential items. The uh, amino acids, multivitamins, trace elements, these are also vital for the 
racing pigeons. Uh, the B12s is also vital for the racing pigeons and, uh, and good and the, the very important is the balance of the nutrition. Okay. How you are managing the balance of the nutrition. This is when all combines and it is right. Then the pigeon, if it is good pigeon, it should perform. Okay. Uh, what do you uh, uh, prefer about the training uh, during the uh, season? Yes. Only flying uh, about the low. No, no, no. Low. Combination. No, no. It's a Not combination. 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 It is a combination. Tossing and flying at home. Uh, I ask about the, how many kilometers you prefer to go out. To go out? Yes. I don't go more than 50. 50? Yeah. And it is the same possible. Almost for everywhere, yeah. Yes. yeah. 50 but, is enough. Okay. You know, you know why? Because uh, the birds, they yes. don't know distance. They know direction. Okay. So if they know the direction, the distance, they don't know it. You know, which is which is which is important to know. So uh, during the season, you prefer, for example, once or twice during the week. Uh, it depends. Depends. It depends. It depends on the condition of the pigeons. Okay. Then with experience, you find out that okay, when they are needing, when they are not needing. Uh, it is not a routine. Not routine. Not routine. Um, during your career yes. in Dubai yeah. of uh, pigeon yeah. racing sport, um, how much costed the most uh, gold pigeon uh, in Here. Dubai? Here? Yes. In as, Dubai. as for me, that I bought? Uh, one pigeon with the, uh, you uh, listen. Maybe 60,000, 70,000. 60,000. Yeah. 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 Okay, because uh, two years ago, yeah. uh, the most expensive of pigeon, yes. two million euro. Uh, yeah, yeah, from, yeah, 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 yeah. From Belgium. From Belgium, yes. Yes. Yeah. yes. Thank you very much. Welcome. For, You're welcome. Uh, for all. And I hope that I answered all your questions. Uh, in Poland, yes. if you uh, give the best wishes, we thought. Dobry lot. Dobry lot. Dobry lot. Dobry lot. Dobry lot. Thank you. Welcome. Best wishes. Welcome. And thank you for this for nice all. And conversation. Interview. All the best to you. See you. Bye. Bye.